Now we're going to talk about some of the ERP components that reflect task-dependent cognitive processes. We'll start with an attention-related component called N2PC. Imagine that you'd like to eat a banana. Before your eyes move to the banana in this fruit bowl, you use covert attentional processes to find the banana and help you plan the eye movement. The term covert attention refers to a shift of internal processing resources, whereas we use the term overt attention when the eyes actually move to the object. An ERP component called N2PC can be used to track the covert focusing of spatial attention. The PC in N2PC stands for posterior contralateral. As you probably learned at some point, the sensory and motor systems have a contralateral organization, with the left hemisphere coding the right side of space and the right hemisphere coding the left side of space. The N2PC is a negative going voltage over posterior electrode sites contralateral to the object being attended. If you're covertly attending to the banana while looking at the center of the fruit bowl, the banana is mainly projecting to the right hemisphere, which is the contralateral hemisphere, for you'd see the N2PC component over the right hemisphere. Of course, most experiments use much more controlled stimuli like these. In this task, subjects attend to the red square in some trial blocks and to the green square in others. The task is to report whether the gap in the attended square is on the bottom or on the top. The stimulus locations are randomized from trial to trial, so when the display appears, the subject has to search for the target. We're studying covert attention here, so we have subjects keep their eyes locked on the central fixation point and use their peripheral vision to do the task. If we look over the left hemisphere, we see that the P1 and N1 components are the same whether the target is in the left visual field or the right visual field. P1 and N1 are only impacted by attention when attention is focused on the location of the target before the stimulus array appears. Once the stimuli appear, it takes about 200 milliseconds for attention to shift to the target, and then we'll see the N2PC as a negative going wave over the contralateral hemisphere. For the left hemisphere, that means we see a more negative voltage from about 200 to 300 milliseconds when the target is on the right side than when it's on the left side. But the N2PC is added onto all the other ERP components that are active during this time period, so the overall voltage during this period is actually positive. The N2PC is a negative deflection that's added onto this positive voltage. If we look at the right hemisphere, we see the complementary pattern. Now the voltage is more negative for a left visual field target than for a right visual field target. We can simplify this by collapsing over the left and right hemispheres. The contralateral waveform is the average of the right hemisphere for the left target and the left hemisphere for the right target. The ipsilateral waveform is the average of the left hemisphere for the left target and the right hemisphere for the right target. The N2PC is defined as the difference in voltage between the contralateral and ipsilateral waveforms. The N2PC allows us to see shifts of covert attention. In other words, we can measure a mental operation that occurs entirely in the head and can't be directly observed in behavior. And that's one of the main virtues of the ERP technique. It allows us to observe the neurocognitive processes that lead to behavior, but cannot be directly observed in behavior. Here's an example from a study that Emily did several years ago. Subjects saw a threat image paired with a neutral image. The stimuli were task irrelevant, and the threat image was equally likely to be on the left side and on the right side. Different images were presented on different trials. Many theories predict that covert attention will be automatically attracted to the threat image, but most behavioral studies using indirect measures of covert attention don't actually see any capture of attention by the threat image. But we were able to directly measure the allocation of attention using the N2PC component. As you can see, Emily found that the threat image elicited a robust N2PC. The voltage was more negative contralateral to the threat than ipsilateral to the threat. Tons of other studies have also used the N2PC component to track the allocation of attention to other kinds of stimuli.